New Kia Optima Sports Wagon GT 2016 Review Kia gives its Optima range a racy lift with 242 bhp GT version, but is the drive transformed? Verdict 3 Star The Optima GT is a curious car, but it's more likable than you might expect. The punchy new engine and chassis revisions are enough to give it a different character to the standard Optima, and on first impressions it remains a decent cruiser. However, its thirsty petrol engine and the fact that it's more warm than hot means it's likely to be a rare sight on British roads. It's a shame that Kia doesn't plan a faster diesel version, which would stand a better chance of catching the eye of UK buyers. Fast family cars with mainstream badges are a rare breed nowadays. Skoda will sell you the entertaining superb 280, and while Ford no longer offers a Mondeo ST there's still a potent 237 bhp version available. But that's about it. Yet Kia has seen a market opportunity to spice up its Optima range with a new, more powerful GT model and we've been driving it for the first time in sport wagon form. Forget the GT Line S. This full-fat GT isn't merely a glorified trim level with a bit of sporty design tinsel. Kia, under the watchful eye of former BMW MS engineering chief Albert Bierman, has given the competent but unexciting Optima a complete overhaul to make it worthy of the same badge as the CD GT warm hatch. Chief among the changes to the GT is a new 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine. Producing 242 bhp and 353 nm of torque, it's enough to propel the family wagon from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds and onto a top speed of 149 miles per hour. That's quite a way off the superb 280s numbers, but it has the better of the Mondeo and other sporty family cars like the Mazda 6. On the road, it's acceptably brisk rather than devastatingly fast. Max torque arrives at 1,350 rpm, meaning decent mid-range thrust and a decent, if not exceptional, turn of speed. It's enough to make the GT far more enjoyable than the diesel variants, but we can't help but think another 4.0 bhp would make the Kia's engine really sparkle. There's a chance UK cars will get a few performance tweaks that could see power rise to nearly 2.80 bhp, though. At least Kia has given the Optima a bit of character with a sporty, albeit largely fake, engine note pumped in through the cabin's speakers. Our only gripe is that the system doesn't quieten down enough in normal mode and at lower speeds where it can become intrusive. Part of that is down to the six-speed automatic gearbox, which stakes its claim as the sole gearbox choice on the Optima GT. Most of the time it's smooth shifting and the paddles are responsive enough, but it sometimes hunts for lower gears at motorway speeds to harm refinement. Skoda's dual-clutch gearbox is an undeniably slicker operator. The other issue is fuel economy. The GT will do 3-4 mpg combined, which is considerably thirstier than its rivals on paper. CO2 emissions of 191g slash km aren't much to shout about, either. Unlike high-end Mondeos and Superbs, Kia hasn't just slapped a big engine under the bonnet of the standard Optima. There's been work under the skin to sharpen up the handling. The GT rides 15mm lower than standard, with a new adaptive suspension system, bigger brakes and revised steering aim to skew the balance of comfort and agility towards the latter. Although I see whether on our first drive in Germany meant it was tricky to push the Optima to its limits, we could still feel the improvements Kia has made. It hasn't quite transformed the Optima into a BMW 3 Series rival, but it does feel keener to turn in, more agile and more planted.
It isn't as grippy as the four-wheel drive Superb, though. Crucially, the changes don't appear to have compromised ride and refinement too much, although we'll need to assess that on British roads to make sure. Kia has gone for subtlety as the theme for the exterior look. Don't go expecting big spoilers or rims, the wheels are only 18 inches, while the solitary clues giving away the GT versions are subtly tweaked bumpers front and rear and twin exhausts. The Optima is already a good looking car, however. Inside, it's pretty much the same as GT line spec, save for reshaped seats and red stitching meaning it's solid and well equipped but not the most spacious in its class. The Optima GT is expected to start from around 30,000 pounds, which might seem a bit steep but it's the same as a GT line spec diesel with an auto box. Key Specs Model, Kia Optima Sports Wagon GT Price, 30,000 pounds, EST Engine, 2.0 liter 4CYL turbo petrol Power, 242 bhp Torque, 353 nm Transmission, 6 speed automatic Front wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.4 seconds. Top speed, 149 miles per hour. Economy, 34 mpg, EST. CO2, 191 g slash km. On sale, early 2017.